Okay, uh, moving on to uh, today's lecture. Uh, this was the problem which we discussed yesterday as well. Uh, although we didn't uh, complete the solution of this problem, uh, rather we only discussed the brief outline of what type of motions uh, various uh, links uh, shown in this uh, rigid body mechanism are undergoing. Uh, so a quick review we have done yesterday. You have a rigid body mechanism show kiya gaye, and uh, the uh, link AB is rotating in a counterclockwise direction with a speed of 4 radians per second. You need to identify uh, which type of motion each of these links is, is undergoing and then you need to find out uh, the velocity of this piston E or slider E or collar E whatever you want to call it uh, at the instant shown. Uh, so the motion we identified in this overall uh, mechanism ki baat kare so since uh, link ab is being grounded from point a so it would be undergoing uh, pure rotational motion about point a similarly uh, if we talk about link cd it is again uh, being grounded from point c so it would have pure rotational motion about point c so these two links are in pure uh, rotational motion uh, the other two links which are links bd and de they are undergoing general plane motion at the instant shown or what is the general plane motion that we have discussed if we consider the next instant then in the next instant the link BD is located in this way link D is located and because there was simultaneous translation as well as rotation over so that's why link BD and DE are in general plane motion in this case if we talk about slider E ki baat kare, so at the instant shown or uh, since slider E is being constrained to move within the horizontal slot so this motion hai, that is going to be translatory motion so overall you have 5 links hai. two of them are in uh, rotational motion uh, two of them are in general plane motion and one of them is in translation uh, so jo uh, jo links uh, rotational motion kar rahe, you are going to apply v equal to omega cross r on those links uh, those links which are undergoing general plane motion you are going to apply the relative velocity equation on those links in order to solve it okay so uh, uh, we need to find out at the instant shown what is the velocity of this slider block e uh, okay in order to start the solution hum hamesha solution us link se start karte hain jiske hawale se hame data given ho since uh, the data regarding link ab is known to us that it is rotating in a counter clockwise direction with a speed of 4 radians per second so we are going to start our analysis from link ab so starting our analysis from link ab since link ab is in rotational motion so what should be the velocity of point b vb kya hogi vector form mein omega ab so omega uh, cross r it is going to be the velocity of point b omega is going to be the angular velocity of this link AB and R is basically the absolute position vector which is being uh, named here as RB. Uh, so this is going to be the velocity of B. Uh, omega is already given to you that this link AB is uh, undergoing a rotational motion with a speed of 4 radius per second in a counterclockwise direction. So you can write omega to be equal to 4k uh, cross RB. What is this vector RB, the absolute position of B with respect to A? So this is going to be the vector which is being shown to you with a blue arrow. Uh, what should be this vector? Can you identify it? Yes, sir. Minus 2 into cos 30 minus 2 into sin 30. So it is going yes. to be minus 2 cos 30 I plus 2 sin 30 j uh, because this vector lies in the second coordinate therefore it should have a negative x component and a positive y component so once you take this cross product the velocity vb would comes out to be vb equal to <clears throat> minus 6.928 i uh, sorry minus 6.928 j So minus 6.928 j minus 4i. Ye aapke paas velocity of point B a jayegi and the units here are fit per second. So Vb comes out to be minus 6.928 j minus 4i. Okay now uh, moving on to the next link which is uh, link BD. Uh, since we have already discussed that this link 
is undergoing general plane motion link bd is undergoing general plane motion so uh, uh, we need to write the relative velocity equation for this link bd what should be our base point b d or b b sir b Since the motion of uh, point b is known to us in step number 1 so we are going to make b as our base point and we are going to write the relative velocity equation by making b as the base point so the equation would become velocity of d should be equal to velocity of b plus omega cross r where omega is going to be the omega of this link bd so we can write it as omega bd and r is going to be the relative position of d with respect to b so vd uh, would become vb which is already uh, found in the first step which is minus 4 i minus 6.928 j ye aapke paas vb aa gaya tha can you judge the direction of omega kal jo humne draw kiya tha this link bd is rotating in a clockwise or a counter clockwise direction can you judge it काउंटर क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन सो वी कैन राइट इट एज प्लस ओमेगा बी डी के क्रॉस वॉट इज आर डी बी वन one i so it is going to be uh, it has it would have a magnitude of one fit and its direction is towards the positive x axis so we can write it as one i so this is going to be omega cross r once you simplify it it would become minus 4 i minus 6.928 j as far as omega cross r is concerned if we consider this smaller triangle then this would become omega bd uh k cross i is j so this would be j and this would represent the velocity of point d on the left hand side of this equation theek hai clear hai yahan tak let me call it as my equation number 1 <coughs> is yes, it clear sir. to all of you okay yes uh, sir now uh if we consider this link cd uh what type of motion this link cd is undergoing pure rotation rotational motion so if i ask you to determine any point any uh, to determine the velocity of any point on this link cd what should be the direction of velocity vd towards the left towards the left uh, how you have judged it since link ab is rotating in a counter clockwise direction so accordingly link cd would also rotate in a counter clockwise direction in order to be consistent with the motion of ab aise hi ye to nahi ho sakta ab counter clockwise kar raha hai aur cd jo hai wo clockwise move karna shuru ho jaye yes sir so it means that this link cd is basically rotating in a counter clockwise direction about point c so what should be the direction of velocity of d v d sir velocity of d point d so towards left hogi towards left hogi so we don't know its magnitude but its direction is known to us so we can write vd vector to be equal to minus vd i ye point clear hai rekh ke yes sir yes okay so now uh, you compare the i and j coefficients on both sides of this equation once you are comparing the i coefficient on the left hand side it is minus vd on the right hand side it is minus 4 it means that vd is basically equal to 4 feet per second now what does this 4 represents positive aa gaya ye to iska kya matlab hai kya ye right ki taraf ja rahi hai velocity left positive aane ka matlab kya hai ki jo aapne assumption li thi ke uh, vd is moving towards the left it is correct positive aane ka matlab ye nahi hai ki uh, the velocity of d has a direction towards the right rather 
पॉजिटिव आने का क्या मतलब है कि जो आपकी एजम्पन आपने ली थी कि डी इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट वॉज करेक्ट दैट्स वाई आपके पास वी डी जो है वो पॉजिटिव आ गया है इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू यस सर ओके नाउ व्हेन यू कंपेयर द जे कॉफिशेंट सो ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वॉट इज द जे कॉफिशेंट जीरो जीरो ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड इट इज माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू एट प्लस ओमेगा बी डी सो वंस यू सॉल्व इट ओमेगा बी डी कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू एट और साइन चूंकि पॉजिटिव आए इट मीन्स योर एजम्पन रिगार्डिंग ओमेगा इज करेक्ट एंड दिस लिंक बी डी इज बेसिकली रोटेटिंग इन अ काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन विद एन एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू एट रेडियंस पर सेकेंड ओके नाउ यू हैव डिटर्मिन द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ डी यू हैव डिटर्मिन द एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी ऑफ बी डी नाउ वॉट शुड बी अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप velocity of e basically we need to find out velocity of e so for finding the velocity of e since link d is in general plane motion so we are going to apply the relative velocity equation on link de so main top pe likh raha hu kyunki jagah thodi si kam hai so for link de we are going to apply the general plane motion equation uh, relative velocity equation so what should be our base point d d because the motion of d is known to us now so we can write the relative velocity equation as ve equal to vd which is the absolute velocities of point e and point d plus omega cross r so what should be this omega this omega should be omega de so aapke paas omega de aa gaya aur r aapke paas relative position vector aa jayega which uh, is being written for the relative position of e with respect to D is this equation clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. In this equation, what should be our V D? So V D to हमने find किया होगा. क्या है वो? Minus six point nine eight. Minus four I, isn't it? So V D is going to be minus four I. Uh, can you judge the direction of omega D? कल हमने डिस्कस किया था इसको. Yes sir. Clockwise. क्या होगा ये? Clockwise, counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise होगा क्योंकि अगर हम थोड़ा सा इसको कंसीडर करें, this link D is basically moving in this circle जो कि मैंने येलो से शो किए. This link is probably here जहाँ मैंने black cross लगाए. So it means कि आपके पास जो लिंक D है वो यहां से लेके शायद यहां तक आएगा इट मीन्स ये लिंक जो है वो इस तरह रोटेट कर रहे हैं ना काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो वी कैन राइट ओमेगा डी ई टू बी इक्वल टू ओमेगा डी ई के क्रॉस आर ई डी द रेलेटिव पोजिशन ऑफ ई विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डी ये वैक्टर क्या होगा So two two cos 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 i i plus positive positive because dies in the first quadrant. So, so solution ki taraf dekhne, wo page complete ho gaya tha. So we are considering this link e d and we have written the relative velocity equation taking point d as our base point. So v d is minus फोर i. Similarly omega cross r में omega d हमने counter clockwise judge किया और r हमारे पास आ गया टू cos थर्टी i. Plus two sine thirty j. As far as uh, the uh, velocity of point E is concerned, since this slider is constrained to move along the horizontal axis, so so it should have the velocity along the horizontal axis. Positive or negative? We can judge kar sakte hain ki since C D is moving in a counterclockwise direction, so there is no way ki ye piston E jo hai, wo right ki taraf jaye. Piston E should always be moving. Towards the left, so we can write V E to be equal to minus V E I. So now uh, taking this cross product, हमारे पास जो final equation आएगी that would be of the form minus V E I equal to minus four I plus one point seven three two omega D E J minus omega D E I. Now once you compare the I and J coefficients, uh, the I coefficient on the left side is minus V E. On the right side, it is minus four minus omega d e. Similarly, the j coefficient is zero and one point seven three two omega d e. So, solving these two equations, 
would give you the value of VE to be equal to four feet per second towards the left. So this is how you are going to determine the velocity of this piston E at the instant shown. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So any question uh, relevant to this problem? If you this problem, so probably uh, topic se related koi bhi problem aapko diya jaye aap usko solve kar sakte hain because ye mushkil tarin problem ho sakta tha is topic se related agar aap isko samajh lete hain isko solve kar lete hain to baki problems bhi aapke liye koi mushkil sabit nahi honge so any query relevant to this topic which is a relative velocity analysis uh, which is a velocity analysis using relative velocity equation koi cheez jo aap puchna chahe sir velocity of a and c zero hogi uh, velocity of A or देखें A और C तो ground हुआ हुआ है ना तो वो तो ground जो चीज़ हुई भी हो fixed जो चीज़ हुई भी हो उसकी absolute velocity तो zero ही होगी दायरा वो ground हुआ हुआ है so V A और V C दोनों zero हैं लेकिन V A और V C की आपको ज़रूरत क्यों पड़ेगी सर अगर हमने A B पे general plane motion अगर equation लगानी है नहीं क्यों लगाएं देखें general plane equation आप उस rigid body पे लगाते हैं जो general plane motion कर रहा हो a B the rotation kar raha hai, C D B rotation kar raha hai, to is pe to simple V equal to omega cross R lagega, or relative velocity equation to lagi nahi sikti. No sir, agar hum A ko zero consider karte hai, to A D equation wapas aajate hai. Dekhi, wo to aajati hai, lekin wo hi to mein ke relative velocity equation hai na, wo aap sirf aur sirf us rigid body pe apply karte hai, jo general plane motion mein ho. Otherwise, to aapki rotation wali equation ban jayegi V equal to omega cross R. And the angular velocity of E is zero and it is zero. In this configuration, in 30 degrees, you have to move the length of the speed from the speed of E. In this instant, if I change this angle, maybe 35 degrees, then you will change the scenario. Okay, okay. So, what do you think about the angular velocity of E? Sir, it's zero. जो लिंक DE है वो भी एक तरह से ट्रांसलेशन कर रहा है रोटेशन नहीं हो रही उसमें ओके ओके एनी अदर थिंग व्हिच यू वांट टू डिस्कस